Stretching across the southwestern United States, the Grand Canyon stands as a breathtaking testament to the power of geological processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. This colossal chasm, carved by the mighty Colorado River, is a masterpiece of natural beauty and a treasure trove of geological history. There are plenty of odd things about the Grand Canyon, a spot renowned for its mesmerizing scenery and geological wonders, attracting visitors from all over the world. Although it's one of the most famous destinations in the U.S., the canyon has also been the site of numerous peculiar and enigmatic findings. From ancient artifacts and unusual rock formations to rare animal species, the Grand Canyon has presented many unusual and inexplicable phenomena. Before we delve into the strangest discoveries at the Grand Canyon, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The Cave of the Domes Nestled in the canyon is an exceptional subterranean cave system known as the Cave of the Domes, which is among the most interesting discoveries in the Grand Canyon. The cave features a succession of remarkable domes that evolved over millions of years as the limestone walls were eroded. These domes are distinguished by the buildup of mineral deposits on the cave ceiling, resulting in their distinctive look. Tourists flock to the Cave of the Domes to witness the unique geological formations of the Grand Canyon. Guided tours are available, providing visitors with the opportunity to delve into the history and science that underpins this captivating natural phenomenon. The Great Unconformity While there are various myths surrounding the Grand Canyon, the Great Unconformity is a geological feature observed in the Grand Canyon and other regions worldwide, where there is an absence of millions or billions of years of rock layers in the geological record, creating a significant discontinuity in the rock sequence. Within the Grand Canyon, the Great Unconformity can be found between the ancient Vishnu Schist, which dates back over 1.7 billion years, and the Tapit Sandstone, which is approximately 525 million years old. The missing rock layers represent a crucial part of Earth's history, and the causes behind this gap remain a topic of ongoing research and debate, just another one of the many inexplicable things about the Grand Canyon. No dinosaur bones found in the Grand Canyon, now, this one isn't about an unusual finding in the Grand Canyon but rather something that was never found, dinosaur bones. The reason for the lack of dinosaur fossils in the Grand Canyon can be attributed to the geological time period of the rock layers. Although the Grand Canyon's rock formations are ancient, they are primarily from the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras that predate and coincide with the age of dinosaurs, respectively. Consequently, the possibility of discovering dinosaur bones in the Grand Canyon is slim. Furthermore, the rock layers have undergone substantial erosion and geological activity, making the preservation of dinosaur fossils even more improbable. The Coconino Sandstone, a distinctive geological feature of the Grand Canyon is the Coconino Sandstone, a rock layer that forms a significant part of its makeup. This rock layer is one of the many strange things found at the Grand Canyon, it stands out with its white to light gray color and unique texture, visible in many of the canyon's walls and cliffs. The Coconino Sandstone is believed to have been formed over 275 million years ago, during the Permian period, by ancient sand dunes that were preserved over time. This geological formation is a testament to the powerful forces that shaped the Grand Canyon over millions of years and continues to attract geologists and tourists alike. The Coconino Sandstone, formed over 275 million years ago, during the Permian period. Fossils in the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon, with rock formations that date back nearly 2 billion years, is a geological marvel. It is also a rich source of fossils, containing a diverse collection of ancient plant and animal remains. Among the most renowned fossils discovered in the Grand Canyon are trilobites, which are extinct marine arthropods that lived over 500 million years ago. Additionally, other fossils discovered in the canyon include ammonites, which are ancient cephalopods related to present-day squid and octopuses, as well as brachiopods, bryozoans, and crinoids, which are all marine animals that lived millions of years ago. Split Twig Figurines while the Grand Canyon is one of the best springtime camping destinations in the U.S., 
It is also home to many unusual and fascinating discoveries ideal for campers who hope to dive further into the area's history and geology. The Grand Canyon region is home to split twig figurines, which are among the most interesting finds in the Grand Canyon, they're tiny and intricate figurines crafted from twigs by ancient inhabitants. To create the figurines, a twig was split into two halves and fashioned into the shape of an animal, typically a deer or bighorn sheep. These figurines played a crucial role in religious rites and were also considered as hunting magic, believed to bring good fortune to hunters. Split twig figurines are tiny and intricate figurines crafted from twig. It's the Chiricahua leopard frog. The Chiricahua leopard frog is a type of frog that can be found in the southwestern United States, including the Grand Canyon. Its name originates from the Chiricahua Mountains in Arizona, where it was first identified in the late 1800s. The frog is identified by its distinct spotted pattern, which is reminiscent of that of a leopard. Uranium Since the 1950s, the Grand Canyon has been the site of uranium mining due to its substantial uranium deposits. Uranium, a radioactive metal used in nuclear power plants, has been extracted from dozens of mines in the area, making uranium mining a thriving industry in the region's history. While not exactly as intriguing as fossils, this number is definitely one of the most bizarre things found at the Grand Canyon. Supai Village While this one isn't necessarily strange, it's definitely unique and worthy of a mention. Supai Village is situated within the Havasupai Indian Reservation, located deep in the Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA. It is a tiny Native American community and is regarded as one of the remotest communities in the United States, accessible only by foot, horseback, or helicopter. The village serves as the capital of the Havasupai Indian Reservation and has a population of approximately 200 residents, predominantly Havasupai tribe members. The community is renowned for its striking natural beauty, with waterfalls, red rock formations, and turquoise pools encompassing the area. Tourists can trek or ride a mule to reach Supai village and relish the stunning surroundings while exploring the local culture. The village presents tourists with the opportunity to spend a night in the village and hike to nearby destinations like Muni Falls and Havasu Falls. Petroglyphs and Rock Art from Ancient Civilizations Petroglyphs and rock art are frequently observed throughout the Grand Canyon, as many ancient civilizations left their imprints on the canyon walls. While they're not exactly the most unusual things found in the Grand Canyon, they're undeniably some of the most fascinating history-wise. Mogollon Monster The Mogollon Monster is a creature of cryptozoology, a field that investigates creatures whose existence has not been scientifically proven. While it is often associated with various regions in Arizona, including the Mogollon Rim, there is no concrete scientific evidence to support its existence. Descriptions of the Mogollon monster vary, but it is generally described as a large, hairy, ape-like creature, similar to the legendary Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Reports of sightings and encounters with such creatures are often anecdotal and lack substantial evidence. What do you think of our video? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.